What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Ricky Rick, and your boy, Ricky Rick, is back with another Ricky Talk, and today is April 20, 2021. In case you didn't know, now you know. For those of you who are young, stupid, and wild, today's 420, which is... <laughs> I don't really smoke, so I can't relate. But for all those, enjoy your guys' day, which is... I don't understand why it's a big deal. If you guys smoke every day, you know, but okay. Um, today, something good happened. Today, um, was the Derek Chauvin verdict, which is the officer from Minneapolis who put his knee on George Floyd's neck. For eight minutes and forty six seconds, which caused George Lop George Lopez, which caused George Floyd to die, and this was something that went viral last year, May fifth, twenty twenty, that caused riots, a lot of people to stand up, caused a lot of people to express how they felt, and not by words. And today, Minneapolis, the jury found this man guilty on all accounts. Second degree, unintentional murder, guilty. Third degree, murder, guilty. Second degree, manslaughter, guilty. And for me, uh, my personal opinion on this is that I think it was obvious to everybody that this man was guilty, especially after watching this video, especially watching how this man died when these officers put this man on the floor, put this man on the ground, an officer decided to put his knee on this guy's neck. This guy was being, what do you call it? Everything the officers asked him to do, he did. And, you know, this guy was calling out for help, saying that he couldn't breathe. And no one, there was nothing that no one could do because the law was in the way. The law is the law. And usually, who does someone call when we need someone to help us? Who do we call when we need someone to rescue us from danger? And it sucks when that danger is the people who are supposed to protect us, who took an oath to protect the people and do right by the people. And when those people don't do right by the people, it sucks, you know? Um, George Floyd definitely made an impact, left his legacy behind. The whole Black Lives Matter matter movement you know black lives matter brown lives matters white lives matters everybody matters but when we're talking about black lives and just the history that they have with police officers you know more than ever that's when the browns and the blacks must stand together and unite because we might have different backgrounds but we go through the same struggles and on this day, May 5th, 2020, Minneapolis, East 38th Street, Chicago Avenue, at 8.08 p.m. when this went down, and these officers left 8.30 thinking they got away with it. And you already know, the more of the story, karma's a bitch. And speaking of karma, I can't believe it took this long you know, almost a year later for the verdict for justice to take place. I think it took too long, but we finally got here and justice was served. And they didn't say anything about the other officers. But I think the other officers should be punished, not just lose their jobs just because it stood there. 
you know, you stood there and you saw a man die. You know, you let this officer do what he thought was right. What he thought he was going to get away with. And thankfully, we live in a world where we have social media. Where we can upload something within seconds and people can see it, share it, comment, have their opinion. And, you know... It's just crazy. You know, like you always see these in movies and some people live this in life. You know, you go to the store. A simple thing is going to the store and not knowing if you're gonna come back. Or that fear of like getting pulled over and not knowing if you're gonna get out safely. You know, I'm pretty sure we all experience that. Especially the browns and the blacks because you just get that vibe. It's like that fifth sense, sixth sense that you get that you know something's wrong. And even if you cooperate, that's the word I was looking for, cooperate. George Floyd was cooperating. Even if you cooperate as a human being, these guys abuse their power and what they did to George Floyd it sucks. But maybe this is something that needed to happen to bring the world together, stand together, and march together to see a better tomorrow. And even though people keep getting shot, dying, there's still that cops versus blacks, browns versus cops. You know, it's just good to know and get to see that when shit gets real, when things go down like that, the people can come together and we should unite more than ever. You know, this is America, the land of the free, justice for all, to be treated equal have equal opportunities I feel like there's a long way to get to that point but that's the goal that's the dream hoping that we can all get there and I think we all will and I think with the last president of president city president I can't even say it the last president who was in the house I think our world got divided a little bit but I think the next 20 years, the next 40 years, the next 60 years, people will continue to come more together. And that number of the people who, who disagree will go down. Because people evolve, people change. Um, it just depends the way people were brought up, you know? But just more to talk about a little bit. George Floyd, Black Lives Matter, I can't breathe. Even though you're not here, it's good to know that you got your justice. It's good to know that this person is going to get what he has coming to him. I truly believe everybody does. And this, what's going on right now, it's a eye opener to every cop who's out there that they can't get away with this and they will not get away with this. Other than that, I'm just gonna keep this short. As always, it's your boy Ricky Rick. If I'm not making you laugh, I'm not making you smile, I'm not gonna be entertained, your boy Ricky Rick ain't doing his job and you already know, your boy Ricky Rick does his job. Until next time, I'm out.